Okay, so if you are wanting to uh, do some observational painting of a single confrontational object, which would be uh, the next general step up from uh, confrontational drawing or drawing from observation, which was the last episode that we focused on, then uh, this is a quick fix on how to do that. So I have a general canvas that I had stained with just some leftover paint. Um, the reason that it's darker value is because the object that I'm doing is actually a lighter object. It's a unique looking vase here. And uh, because I'm trying to keep it totally simple, um, I am just using a couple of colors. I'm using the uh, golden fluid acrylic, so I've got raw umber, I've got yellow ochre, and I have a little bit of titanium white. So I'm just using uh, light, middle, and dark value so that I can get the uh, gist of this and uh, there is a piece of homemade chocolate cake waiting on me when I finish this so that's a little momentum to get it going and move on you may or may not get need cake involved but um, what I'm gonna do is start off by doing a general lay-in based on the uh, process that we had talked about last time of of kind of doing the measuring and whatnot and so I'm gonna say hey what's it gonna to touch first here so it looks like it's gonna to touch the belly is what I'm calling it of this vase and kind of the mouth at the same time but the belly first for real right then my north boundary is gonna be the top of this handle my uh, west boundary is gonna be also the belly and then my bottom boundary is gonna be right on the bottom so you can bring an object for, from home and, and try and work on that or select something that's in the classroom, whatever the case may be. But I'm gonna set my boundaries. They're in the lower quadrants here. So I'm just gonna say, okay, there's my west, there's my south, there's my east, and there's my north. And so in a general way, I've got those boundaries set. And now I'm gonna try and um, create the shaping that, that goes with uh, the form itself. So I'll do my sphere with my paint to try and get the, the overall base of the object. Then I will take the handle and I'm coming down and around. And remember the mouth was uh, further in than the base. So if there was a line coming down here, right, that's my, that mimics the angle of my brush. If it comes here, then um, I'm just, not gonna make that pop out as far. And then there's a connection piece here, obviously. And I can go in that way. And I see that this only leaves a little bit of residue. All right. And again, I'm not like uh, committed or married to this. I'm just trying to get a sense of it. And of course, as I get more confident with it, I will uh, accentuate it a little bit more go in for stronger values. Um, I feel like this is off, so I'm gonna cut it in a little bit. And what comes out further, the handle or the side? So the side does, and see here it's almost the same. Now I don't really wanna exceed my boundary, so that means that I'm gonna have to cut this in and bring this out. So I'll just kind of visually erase that to remind myself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yellow ochre and I'm going to try and bring the more vibrant pieces out. I don't want to go into a white mode with them yet. I just want to kind of acknowledge that they are lighter. And then I see that this is a little bit lighter. And this has more of a tilt, I'm seeing that. And I'm gonna bring that around. Okay, and now I'm gonna do my mass in or fill in. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of the umber with it so that I can acknowledge these darker sections. Fill that guy in. Remembering that opaque is, a, a ochre is an opaque color, so it's gonna fill in a little bit more. And I'm gonna fill that guy down.
All right, and once I get my base coat down, then maybe I want to start filling in some background. So I'll put a little bit here, a little bit on the other side of here. And that's why I started with a dark canvas so that I could kind of create some light value to really help it pop out a little bit more. And the fluid acrylic really helps it to go on nice and smooth. I want to create a little bit more of a boundary that that's sitting on. Pull this out just a little bit. Okay, then I'll go ahead and go a little bit brighter. I'm seeing that this is some of my brightest section. Notice how I'm building up my value very cautiously. And then I'll pull this guy down. pull a little bit more here and here. some of my highlight too. And put a little bit of highlight there. Sorry, I'm keep thinking about that cake. <laughs> cake. All right, two. Now, I know the colors aren't really accurate. I'd picked warm colors, and this is kind of a light, cool base, but um, I just wanted to focus on light, medium, dark. That's all that I'm really worried about and that's what I wanted my takeaway to be. And this is some reflected light down here. I'm going to blend this in and then I can go back and illuminate. gonna pop the 
bright spots. I'm even gonna get a little bit smaller brush. I've pretty much been working with the same long brush, but I'm gonna get something a little bit smaller. Save those highlights for last. Okay, and now I'm just going to soften those down a bit. Oops, oh well. <laughs> cool thing is, I can come back and adjust that. And I'm going to soften this guy down. Just take a little bit of light to kind of show down here a little bit more of the shadow. of a soft white over here. Just really bring the side of that out a little bit more. Get rid of some of that original. I don't really want to see total background. I don't. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to kind of conceal some of those original marks. Okay. And you know, that's kind of it in a general way. I, I see some adjustments that need to be made on the handle to develop that around light-wise. And I see how this could be a little bit lighter. But essentially we have our pot and we've kind of uh, estimated some light source and light value on this. Um, we can really punch up this part of the platform and let that part be a little bit more dirty and really accentuate this light okay so hopefully that helps it gives you an idea of what you can do tomorrow again just some underpainting with those three colors um, again we use the uh, golden fluid acrylics um, so if you have those they're pretty creamy and dreamy go on pretty easy and um, you can just do an understudy of a object so uh, you have a good night and I'm gonna go enjoy my cake